We're going to be opening up this vlog, vlog with a how to protein oats. Very frequently asked question when I post a picture on Instagram. So this can be used by like any, any amount. So my formula, my ratios, is simple. It can be used by man, woman or fisher them. Hey Sam Smith, stop it. Ha! Will be handy if you actually had some oats. All you need is whey protein. I use Perform, fantastic. Oats, some frozen berries, whatever you want. And I'm using Biscoff today. My top flavors of Perform are the caramel biscuit, chocolate orange, cinnamon donut, and carrot cake. And what I tend to do is get creative. So as an example, because I'm using the, this like Biscoff, I use the Biscoff spread. If I'm using the chocolate orange, I'll get in Jaffa cakes. Do you know what I mean? Let's get to it. First, we weigh out the oats. Today, I'm having 50 grams, five zero. Now, this is the important part when it comes down to the ratios, okay? So I use a two-one ratio, two being the water, one being the oats, or a one-two, whatever you wanna. So if I've got 50 grams of oats, I'm using 100 mil of water. You're using 30, 60, 40, 80. And then what you do is, you use a one-one ratio of water to whey protein. Okay, let it sink in. Have you got it? I'm proud of you. So today, as an example, we have 50 grams of oats, therefore we need 100 mil of water. Once that's in, I'm having 30 grams of whey protein, so I'll put in 30 mil of water. It's very, very simple, guys and girls. Give it a little bit of a mix and then put it in the micro wave for 60 seconds. That noise means that it is cooked. Now it's time to add in your whey protein. I'm having today 30 grams. Next up, we add in our Biscoff. There's no requirement for a ratio here. It just depends on how much you want. I'm not really dieting at the moment, so we'll go just over 15. A nice big 20 gram dollop. Love it, babe. What's next, Tom? You guessed it. Simply mix it up, my selector. Don't become too worried if you think, oh no, look, it's really powdery. Give it a mix, give it a bit of patience, and you'll be there. Once it's mixed, add some fruit in, and you are pretty much done. And there you go, folks. outrageous. That combination of Biscoff spread and that perform. Oh my god, it doesn't even, it feels, it feels like a dessert. It feel almost feels a bit naughty, do you know what I mean? Mm. Got calories to play with? Come up a Biscoff biscuit. If you're going on a nice long run on a Sunday, get some honey on there. Let's start the rest of the vlog. How'd you like that? Actually, that's a preview of Lolita Holloway's new a uh, single out of her brand new gold mine album. It's called Catch Me on the Rebound. I think that's a so right. This is my last paid for coffee because I'm just doing my, it's just silly. If it's not McDonald's, it's David Lloyd, it's the one on the corner. So I'll, to stop myself, I'll do the brand new coffee machine. It's coming tomorrow, I'm excited. Off Chesington, unfortunately not the theme park. Look at her face. <laughs> Look at her face. I said to him, you've been cold, he's been very cold. But we're here, it is quite cold in here. Simon's just setting up, so we'll get going. Get the magic secret ingredient. I'll show you the secret ingredient in a minute. Get it down, your son. <laughs> How was that for you? Mm. Good? Great. Oh. Fucking hell. Easy, <laughs> lad. <laughs> 30 kilos down, yeah. Mm. 30 k. It's a small child we lost in the last <laughs> however many weeks we've been doing it. But, My uh, burger. Fantastic. We'll put some of the pictures up when we get them, but... No, that's all right. Thank you to Simon. Okay, and this, this is everyone, <laughs> Thank you to Simon as well. Great shoot. No very, problem. very well run. Lovely little facility as well, but uh, yeah. Good yeah, stuff, Jim. Look crazy, the physique looks mad. The chest separation in there, the back, the detail. Christmas trees coming out. Hard time of the year to diet as well. But uh, yeah, you enjoy that Turkish tonight, lad. Got it done, mate.
I realise I haven't done any fashion videos in some time and I deeply apologise. January, February though, like, what's going on in January, February? Apart from Valentine's, which we're celebrating. Never celebrate Valentine's on the day, do you? You always say, do we do the Saturday before or after? What do you want to do? Well, this is a prime opportunity for me to do a, a date night video, gents. What should you wear on a date night? Firstly, you've got to ask yourself the question, what's the venue saying? Is it smart? Is it casual? Is it smart casual? I'm going Novikov Italian on Saturday, and that's smart. Got the lounge bar, Novikov Italian, and then Novikov Asian. Different clobber for each restaurant, I reckon. Novikov Asian's a little bit more relaxed, casual, jeans, very influencer heavy, quite drip heavy up there, semi, semi pro footballer vibes. Italian down there's a lot smarter. So, I'm going all black. I'm going 365 days, Don Massimo, Scarface, black shirt, black trousers. We'll start with the trousers. In an ideal world with this outfit, I'd recommend you go suit supplier and grab a pair of Myra or Fellini. They're the trousers that I wore to my cousin's wedding. Fantastic, very smart, really cool. They've got the button across. There's not a lot of detail around the waistband. They look perfect for this type of outfit. You can bang it on holiday, pair of loafers, very like minimal smart. Didn't have time to go suit supply or order any. So I'm just using the Marks and Spencers. Don't knock Marks and Spencers. 32 regular slim fit trouser. These actually sit really, really nicely. I've got really long legs and quite a small torso and really long arms. So these sit very nicely on me and I tend to wear them a little bit higher. The crotch is a little bit longer, which is the sort of look that I like anyway. Also sits a little higher on the ankle as well. What you do not want for any trouser really is a crumpled ankle. It is probably one of the worst looks. It looks horrific. So you want it a little bit higher. If you need to go to the tailors or you've got a nice pair, the trousers, probably people watching this or, or blokes watching this that, that go to the gym and finding a pair of trousers is a pain in the ass. It's like, waist fits really good, the legs all over the gaff. Sometimes when the waist fits really well for me, I go to my tailors, nine quid, get them taken up, happy days. So these sit slightly higher on the ankle, which look perfect for when you wear a pair of loafers that I've got here. Shirt, I've got this in two colours, black and white. It's like a silky, shiny shirt. It's a Zara slim fit, it's lovely, it's fantastic. I wear a large in this, I'm five foot 11 and three quarters, 88 kilos, I'm a 48 inch chest. I can wear this done up to the top or I can wear it undone, relaxed, either way is perfect. I love it, it's like almost like a stretchy, really cool, you know sometimes you wear a shirt and you're like, you're, you're boiling hot, lovely, effortless. The only downside is, is the, the cuff, is the, the sleeve, they're a little, the wrist is a little loose. I like, I like a little bit tighter, just because it sits a little bit further back and you've got your watch on or whatnot, it looks better. These aren't ideal, but overall it's a strong shirt. I really recommend you get one. Black and white, not too much money either, like 20 odd quid. So I'm wearing that. I'm wearing this open. So I'm wearing the first two buttons open. So I'd heavily recommend you get some jewelry. We'll come on to jewelry in a second. But if you are wearing something like that, open shirt, get yourself some jewelry and make sure it's layered as well. Talk about that before. Jacket, going with Zara again. I highly doubt this is in stock because I got this a couple of years ago, but it's just a really nice jacket. This came as a two piece, it came as a two set. So it came with the trousers, really, really nice. Button and zip, fantastic to throw on. It is, you know, it's smart enough to get away with putting on an outfit like this. And it's also casual where I could probably like bang a pair of jeans, t-shirt and throw this over the top. Really versatile jacket, really, really nice indeed. Like I said, probably not in stock. If I've got the product code, I'll put it on the screen, but I highly doubt it is in. Footwear, as I mentioned, because these, because these trousers sit higher, I always recommend the loafer when they look like that. So these are the Dr. Martin, what are they called? Dr. Martin Adrian's, which are the tasseled loafers, one of my favorite shoes. You can get away with like wearing a regular pair of Dr. Martens, I suppose, but I just think when you're going slightly higher on the ankle, a pair of loafers looks a lot smarter. So these are my go-to. Jewelry, jewelry. If you're going all black, then gold. Black and gold, the contrast is lovely. I've spoken about layering before, so getting a, a slightly shorter necklace and a slightly longer one, so you've got that layered effect. I go crafted all the time. Been using crafted for the last, God, four or five, four or five years. Additional accessories, again, gold watch, guard tier, I say it all the time, big up Nika, the watch expert, Casio. You can't go wrong with a Casio. I find myself wearing this Casio more frequently than my other watch, so 
yeah, nice, sim simple, easy accessories. Casio crafted jewelry. Could even get a gold bracelet if you want to as well. Maybe some rings, go all in. Where are you from, Madeline? Chicago. How do you like it in the evening? Oh, sounds thrilled about the whole thing. Of course, uh, this was one of your gold mine albums. Right, hit and run. Hit and run, oh, all the uh, disco jocks played that right and it fell off the floor. But I want to thank you very much. There's only one Henry Turner. The pinpoint accuracy last night. Devastating. Zoop, zoop. Bang. That's all she wrote. Fabulous performance again from Henry. Ten and now. Commonwealth next. Surely. Gee, is unbelievable. Good night down at York Hall. I like it down there. It's, real, it's got a real good atmosphere. Today's Saturday. I have some dinner this evening, so I've got a training session plus a little bit of a, a buffer, I like to call it. When I'm going out, I, I have a little, little buffer conditioning session. And I'll show you for a very, very basic one. As we are training fasted, upon wake, scoop of electrolytes, inch your workout, EA plus, plus electrolytes. I rotate my EAs between supplement needs and ghost. But in terms of best ratio, best bang for your buck, it's pretty hard to beat the leucine, isoleucine, and valine panel of supplement needs. Then some prevail rush this morning. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here is a really nice post-workout conditioning piece to do. Using it as a bit of a, a buffer, because I'm out tonight. It is an E4 MOM, which stands for every four minutes on the minute. So we've got four minutes to do the prescribed amount of work. Ideally, I recommend people to get the work done in and around about three minutes 40 to three minutes 45 to allow yourselves about 15 seconds before the next round. Okay, so today's work is a 750 meter row. Try and keep my pace at around about a 150 per 500. So 750 usually takes me about two, two minutes 55 to three minutes. And then I've essentially got 30 to 40 seconds to do my 50 skips. And then I rest for about 15, 20 seconds. And then I go back into my next rotation. So I did four of these today. So in total took me 20 minutes. I think I burned around about 400 and something calories. So nice, simple, quick and effective post-workout conditioning piece for you. I'm, I'm sorry, so let me just, let me just, Arsenal win and then City draw and then, oh, oh, oh. Very good Oyster Bay. Highly recommend if you enjoy a wipe from Tesco. Nine pound with a club card. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. First Saturday in a while that I've been, I've been, I've been happy. I can only apologise about the previous weeks. Hey! He's got foot fetish, Gunner has. Right, bit of food. I ain't been out for a dinner since, since like before Christmas, I think. I can't, I'm not doing January year next year. I'm, I'm, I can't do it, it's been a tough winter. I just gotta find a nice European destination that's like fairly decently hot, because it's been a tough one. But we made it, folks, well done. Good morning, I'm trying to find the name of the place in my bay that does probably one of the best pasta dishes I've had. Novikov, that, it's, if you enjoy like your pasta, that wavy bolognese is, is wild. It is so, so good. But I can't remember the name of the place in my bay. Not all on the corner, it's, it's, on, it's on the pool. But they, they do the best truffle, truffle pasta. I can't remember the name. Anyway, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, I'm wasting my dough on daily coffee, so, I'm wasting my money on daily coffee, so. Got a coffee machine back. I didn't want to go an espresso, because it just, like, appearance is big when it's sitting on the side, and also there was 25% off at Grind Valentine's Day special, which is good, which is great. And they come with 33 pods. Let's set her up. <laughs> Mm. 
they do a great coffee grind. That's more of espresso, so what I'll do in the mornings to make it Americano, just add boiling hot water in there. Ah. Arsenal win, City draw, Wagyu Bolognese, good coffee. I'm a simple guy. Guns. I'm a simple guy. I love my Sundays now. Oh. A little walk later, on the computer. Sort, sort the day out for Monday. Guns. Good banana cake, this. Good boy. He's proud of punch. Where is it? Where's your frisbee? Okay, hope you enjoyed the vlog. I just did a talk at a school yesterday. Whoa. And it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my entire life. I prepared slides and that, but there's 17 year olds who just went Whoop. and I thought this is this is tough. I recommended them read the 22 Immutable Laws of Marketing by our reason Jack Trout, Still Like an Artist by Austin Cleon, Jeff Walker's Launch and Atomic Habits by James Clear. Know your audience, Tom. But grateful for the opportunity, it was good for me, public speaking and that. I like the idea of teaching and, 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 and that. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. I shall see you very soon in the next one. What are we working with at the moment? So I'll be for Classic Consults at end this weekend. Programming week next week, which is always a heavy, heavy week. Plenty of coffee sitting up here doing that. And then March 6th, I be for shreds. Natty diet starts. I can't wait, man. I can't, I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to it. Between them, I'm going to try and get a vlog out. I want to do like a, an ultimate gym wardrobe and some like minimalistic clothing video. But we'll see, because it's a heavy, heavy week next week. Right, this is going out. When's this going out? We've still got spaces in terms of consults if you do want to jump on board the 12 week transformation challenge. I'll click the link in my bio. I think we've probably got a couple calls on Saturday. And that's about it. Maybe one or two tomorrow. Free. Right, heavy one. This IB for classic, everyone wants to get shredded. Love to see it. Right, I'll see you very soon. Thank you, good night. Much love.